It was, it was literally so beautiful. Like, Puerto Rico owes me absolutely nothing. Y'all know I love Audible, so I'm so excited when they reach out to partner with me. As a mom who's always busy and has a lot going on, Audible really helps me get through the day. It makes my tasks more enjoyable and passes the time quicker when I'm doing things that I don't so much enjoy, like the carpool line. If you've never used Audible before and you don't know where to start, I have the perfect title for you. It's called Girl Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis. I think every mom and young girl needs to hear this. It will re-inspire you to chase after your dreams and become the best version of yourself. Don't wait. Invest in yourself today with Audible. New members can try it free by visiting audible.com backslash McKenna W or text McKenna W to 500-500. It's so pretty. Uh, I don't know what to do first. I had like a little itinerary of things I wanted to start with, but now I don't know. Y'all, first of all, they got speakers in the bathroom. You can turn the volume up and down. Welcome to a vlog. We're in Puerto Rico. We are staying at I can't pronounce the name of the beach, but it's a Ritz Carlton Reserve. It's very nice. It's giving just all the vibes. It's I'm gonna tell you all about what it was when we first came in. So like you first come in, you arrive, they take your luggage for you, and then they have butler service with the room. I tried it. It's done. It tastes like a potato chip, but healthy. Yeah. Oh, good. You have a butler for your entire stay and they walk you around the property, show you everything, give you a little tour of the restaurants and they're basically just available for you as you need them. I'm like, where are we? Where are we? This is so nice. Um, but yeah, cue the clips of the room tour. I don't know exactly what we're about to do right now. Probably just go get something to eat because honestly, I'm starving. It was kind of, it wasn't a terrible fight, but it was a little bit long and we haven't ate since breakfast. So we're probably gonna change into like some beach attire and then go get some lunch. I don't think we're gonna have time to do excursions today because the only thing that I was thinking we were gonna be able to do was they had like this night kayaking thing, but he was saying in this season, the algae is really bad. So they usually don't do it. It's like the bioluminescent kayaking or like boat tour, but we're gonna make reservations for our excursions today and then probably just like walk around, go get lunch until we come back and get dinner. I don't know 
eat twice but it's four o'clock right now and the pool closes at sunset so at like six o'clock and then we have our own little pool do you hear the waves oh my god i'm gonna sleep out here look I didn't expect the waves to be this rough and I don't know where we can go down onto the beach at but it's so oh my it's so okay but yeah we came in and we got our little tour and then they gave us this Bacardi it's from I'm pretty sure it's like Bacardi but it's complimentary pretty much everything is complimentary except for like the extra alcohol that's in the room and all that stuff but the amenities here are really nice and that's an outdoor shop that's a tub baby i don't want to leave i don't want to leave i'm like oh first thing i thought about when i got here that was like the kids should can if they didn't have school we definitely probably would have brought them but obviously carter can't miss school <sighs> but baby i'm so excited i have no idea what we're gonna do yet but I think I'm gonna change my clothes and put on something because it's hot and I have on sweatpants and just this random big t-shirt that I wore on the flight. How cool is that? I can't drink it but I wish I did but I can't, it's too strong. About to eat me an apple. Oh yeah, I can't even change. We're waiting on our luggage. I didn't even sit on the bed. Let's sit on the bed. This is the view from the bed? Are you kidding me? I don't want to live in Dallas anymore. I want to live by the beach. How pretty. Yeah, this is the little... Chili? Yeah. No, I'm hot. How nice is this? Are we gonna sleep with this open? Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. No, I'm I, I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting. Oh, well, it's gonna be dark outside. I wasn't expecting the water to be so um, choppy because you know we can go down to the beach from the property. Yeah, you know that. Huh? Definitely that <laughs> what would you say? I'm not saying you. I'm saying there's like somebody like that. Well, I think we're just we're not on the part where the sand is, so we obviously I'm gonna walk down and see how far I can go. You can go up just one up. Is located over on the eastern coast of Puerto Rico, so right over here. Okay. This is about an hour 15, an hour and a half from the hotel. Okay. Old San Juan itself is this that you see right here. It's the oldest part of Puerto Rico. This is a city that's about 500 years old, so it is something that if you'd like to do maybe two things in one day so that you have you know, enough time to stay in the hotel and relax a little bit as well. I would say probably start the morning with the rainforest and then on the way back, stop in Old San Juan, maybe have lunch in the area, mm -hmm. okay. tour the city, and then come back to the hotel. So that would be one day. You can definitely do both things in one day. Okay. Oh, that's the, you said the Wednesday. I do Hiking. have the guide available Wednesday. I think Luigi mentioned okay, Wednesday so was the day that you were interested in going to the rainforest. I do have that. Okay, yeah, we can do Wednesday. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah. So that would be an option. Okay. So Junque and Old San Juan could be done on Wednesday. Okay. For the zip lining, it's something that would be available closer to Thursday. The park opens on Thursday. Okay. And that's right here in Orocovis. So you would be headed towards the center of the island. Okay. The zip lines, they do have the second longest zip line in the world, mm -hmm. so it's very fun. Okay. I'd recommend it, unless you're afraid of heights but we'll probably not. It, yeah. <laughs> so I would recommend the zip lines. That's about an hour and a half. So you will be going through smaller roads that lead there. So it is a bit of a drive. Um, but it is, is the drive? About an hour, 15, an hour, 30. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but it's also something that you can combine maybe with a rum tasting in the afternoon. Okay. I wouldn't recommend doing the rum before, but probably, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably okay. after would be better. You could definitely do the sip lines. You know, they do them starting at 9, 10 in the morning. Okay. If you wanted to do the 10 a.m. zip lines, you can leave here at 8.30. That gives you enough time. And then okay. on the way back, you can have lunch, do the, the, the rum tour, and that would be that day. Okay, is there any transportation back and forth or we just need to get a rental car? To get uh, no, we can definitely have a private driver. He would have to stay with you since you're going to go to the middle of the, of the island. He would stay with you, so it is billed at an hourly rate. But yes, we can definitely set up the transportation. Okay. It tastes a little bit more like a cocktail. Okay. Passion fruit is fantastic. Ginger cinnamon is also really nice. But this is something that we do every day, so you could stop by, try something different. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably try one of the infused ones since it's a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. Can I try the mango? Mango? Yeah, of course. And what about for you? I think I'm gonna go with how's, how's this. That was pretty strong. You definitely taste the burn of the rum. I would say from. Um, you wanna start with this one? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Good. Would that be with ice or just on its own? Oh, that's okay. Okay. You don't want no. The full experience. I know. Sure. So this is still, you know, it's pure rum. It's still going to be okay. pretty strong. I would say let the ice melt a little bit, let it cool it down. Okay. <laughs> you might enjoy it a little bit more. Okay, we just went and got our itinerary figured out for the week. So I'll just tell you guys what we're gonna do day by day because yeah, it just be surprised. Stay tuned. I'm about to unpack because we're gonna be here for a week. So I live here now. Thank you. I'm just gonna put. I don't really know. Should I put my shoes? Put my shoes down here. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna unpack. I thought I was gonna like be cute and unpack with you guys, but I don't really think it's gonna be that cute of a process. Uh, Y'all already know what I packed if you watched the last vlog. Um, so yeah, I'm about to put my stuff away and then I'll come back and get ready for you. Okay, I was trying to be cute and mount y'all up, but I dropped my camera, so I don't know if the footage, you know. Anyways, we gotta hurry up because we have reservations in an hour and I don't know if all the clips got deleted, but hey hopefully everything's not deleted but we're about to get ready for dinner if they did get deleted night one recap we just got here we're about to go have dinner and then we're gonna pick up a rental car and then we met with the concierge and uh booked all of our excursions for the week while we're here so i'm getting ready and yeah i really don't know what i want to wear because like i did overpack so now I have too many options and I'm like, I don't know which one is my favorite, so I don't know what I want to wear. I'm just going to wash my face off from the day and the flight and then the grandmas are getting in trouble. Can y'all believe I wasn't going to say anything, but we we're on vacation and like we had like this whole schedule for everybody to pick up the kids. And nobody is following the itinerary we gave as soon as we left and didn't say anything didn't call us didn't tell us anything just so that is the reality of family yeah lovely lovely love god love god love anyways okay back to the get ready with me i'm not about to stress about it i'm not nope 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 i know my kids are safe i know they're fine i know they're happy i know they're fed i know they're all of that it's just if you have kids, you, you just let me know. Okay, anyways. Uh, I really wish I could stick you guys back up here, but I honestly just don't know what happened. I have this suction mount. Okay, now I'm scared. Okay, I'm just, I'm gonna switch all over to my other mount. That way y'all can be like here instead of like down here. And then I wash my face and we're just gonna do a little, y'all know, like a little no makeup makeup. And then I think I'm going to wear this yellow dress because it's just casual. We're just going to be walking around the resort and having dinner for the first night. So I didn't want to go all the way out. But then when I don't go all the way out, then I'd be regretting it because I'm like, what if I don't get the chance to wear my other outfits? But it's okay. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. I'm going to get to wear something. Well, I think I'm going to wear the green one instead because the yellow one I can wear when we go to Old San Juan because it's shorter and it'll be hotter because it's going to be during the day. So... Let me go get my stuff and then we're gonna start getting ready. Okay, I'm back. Huh? No, I'm wearing green. I'm not wearing this dress right here. 
Okay, let's do some skin prep. Nope, wrong thing. Okay. You wearing what? I'm wearing green. What? Let's hang it up in the closet. It's a green dress. Okay. I feel like this vlog is just going to be a lots of excursions and get ready with things constantly. I'm all red. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Lip plump. I'm trying to see where I want to, like, what kind of little no makeup makeup look I want to do. I just want to give, like, just glowy. I don't even know if I want to put a skin tint on or not. I really wish YouTube would just let us play music. Like, this is so crazy. Girls just want to have fun. Is this the time to try something new? Yes or no? Because I really want to try mixing the Ilias skin tint with the dew drops, but I just feel like no, today is not the day. Today is not the day. I feel like I could low key put this all over my face too. This Georgie Armani. This little makeup bag, by the way, is so cute. Look, I even organized my brushes. Who am I? Who am I? I'm in a new era. I'm in a new era. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do. Let's just keep it simple before I mess it up. Are you gonna take a shot? Are you seeing the dress? With the green? It's supposed to be green. That's not green, but yeah. Is it green? Or is it green? No, it's like brown, brown, dirty green. green. It doesn't matter. I don't think we're really gonna be color coordinating separate if you if we wear that pink and orange kind of. Okay. 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 The, is the lighting in here awful? I feel like it's just yellow, but does that make it bad lighting? I don't know. Also, why did my face start breaking out? Right before we got here, the disrespect. I'm trying to decide if I should just go all out and try to do the faux freckles tonight, or if I should just say it. This is the rare beauty. I wanted to get on live while I was out here doing my get ready's with me, cause like, do y'all want? Do we want to get ready every every time I get ready to do some? Cause I'm probably gonna use the same products. You know what I'm saying? But the people on live. Listen, I just 100% don't believe that these are real people that be trolling people on their lives. There's no way somebody actually has that much time and energy in their life. They gotta be like pre-programmed bots. Cause I just, I can't convince myself that anybody is that bad of a person that they would like just be so rude. I was trying to be on live the other night and um, the trolls, the trolls were not having it. I really want something that's like a brighter pink. I want to do this, but it just didn't really look that pink to me. And then somebody said I was brushing it all off with the makeup brush and I just need to dab it. I'm using these two colors. So this one is the Wisdom. Yeah, this lighting is ass, so I really can't see. Sorry about that, girl. Um, and then this is Magnetize. Do some on the nose higher up here oh i forgot i have the charlotte tilbury contour here it is we're gonna try it because why not boom boom i'm not gonna redo my edges just for time's sake because we have to go eat dinner and then we also i feel like this goes under here but you know trial and error okay We have to go get the rental before the rental place closes tonight. So we gotta, not that we have to eat fast, but it's like a 40 minute drive. Oh, well, and we have to take an Uber there, so yeah. I don't know about the cheeks. The forehead was cool, but I don't know. 
Okay, blush brush to blend all this. I just don't want to go outside looking a fool because the lighting in here is so bad. Mm. Make sure if I blend everything out all the way. Oh, it's getting glowy. She looks glowy. It's not blending though. I shouldn't let that highlighter sit for so long. Now it looks like little dots on my face. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I messed my brows up. Can y'all hear the creatures? Mm, I don't think I'm gonna do concealer. I need to brush my lashes, but guess what? I don't have a spoolie. I don't have a spoolie. So, I don't know what to do right now. Okay, this is the best we're gonna get. I'm gonna touch up a little bit after I get dressed my hair and stuff, but we got our blush, we got our highlighter. Hopefully we don't look crazy. Maybe I should just Take it down a little bit just in case because you never know. You never know. Okay. Dressed and then we're going to do fragrance and kind of body care. I'm just going to use a specific lotion and then I'm going to put some like glowy stuff on. Okay. Boom. This is the dress. My lotion is packed up. Oh wait, hold on. Okay. Body lotion. Dang. Don't do this to me. I don't want to break a nail trying to open this. My other lotion exploded too. Shit. Okay. This is the Fenty Perfume Lotion. It's just got like a real strong, potent, I don't even know how to describe the scent, but it just, it smells really good and we just want to smell really good. The amount of nip slips that I'd be having in the videos that I have to edit out is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Should I wear my hair up or down? Oh, I also need to find my little bag that has my jewelry and stuff so I can wear my necklaces. I think it's in here. Okay. Necklaces. Okay, this is what I'm super excited to try out. It's the Patrick Ta. I have this little brush that I got from Amazon a while ago. Oh, this is lovely. I do my whole neck. Cause yeah, period. Period, period, period. Can you see the glow? Okay. Just a little sparkle, sparkle everywhere. Okay. And then look, I didn't get to show you guys this in the last vlog before we came on the trip because I got it after I finished vlogging, but Kapari came out with a new glow SPF. Quit blowing me. I'm gonna be looking so glowy out on the beach. And then they also have this one, which I think looks really cool. It's like a mister. I look you know. It smells really good. It smells like coke already. Okay. And it's got shimmers and sparkles in it. Yep. That'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> okay, for fragrance, I guess since I just sprayed that coconutty spray, I'm gonna go with the Tom Ford Sol de Blanc. I don't love this when I first spray it, but once it dries down, it smells good on me. So I feel like it's just one of those perfumes that depends on what your body chemistry is. And then I'm gonna mix it with the Sol de Janeiro uh, Rio Radiance. I'm really gonna spray it in my hair too. I don't know if I wanna wear my hair up or if I wanna wear my hair down, but I'm gonna put my accessories on and then determine what we should do. Also, I'm thinking big earring, little earring. I think big. Go big or go home, right? 
I feel like these go with this dress. Except I'm missing an earring back, so hopefully I don't lose it. I just want to be comfortable tonight too since we're about to get in the car anyways. And I don't want to like come back to the room and change before we go and get the rental, so. Ooh, what should we do with it? No, let's just do casual. I'm gonna do a little stack that I got off of Amazon. I feel so free in this dress, especially because I don't have any underwear on underneath. Around the back. I don't think I like the two. I think I like just the one. I think I'm just gonna do one tonight. Okay. Oh no, rings. Do I need sunglasses? <laughs> I feel like that's outdating it a little bit. I don't really need the sunglasses. Hair up, hair down. I think I'm gonna do down, down, down. I don't know if I wanna refresh my curls or just let them be kinda like big and dry. I think big and dry is cool. I'm gonna spray some of that Rare Beauty. Oh, no, maybe I shouldn't. I'll just use this so I don't mix too many smells, but I just want my hair to smell good. I feel like it looks fine. Like the curls are not super defined, but it's, it's, yeah, it's okay. I can't decide on a part. Okay, I think that's fine. What do you think? The lighting in here is real poor, but I'm gonna try to insert some pictures, but I think that's it. No freckles tonight. We're just gonna keep it cash. And then, let me see. Okay. This is the bag that I'm taking, and then I have on my little same wicker sandals. I'm just about to pack you guys up and all the rest of my stuff, and then we're leaving. Maybe I should take the tag off. Perhaps. Okay. And then we have slips. And then we're gonna come home, get in the pool, take a bath. I'm not gonna sleep. I'm getting it. I'm using this bag every day in the outdoor shower. Here Period. Y'all pray for me. What do I really need? I'm on vacation. You know? <laughs> we're off to dinner. <laughs> I really just was trying to, we're trying to figure out how to take pictures, but it's just not going very well. Yeah. And then I'm probably just gonna do the Wagyu tenderloin. I didn't see anything on the sides either besides maybe the truffle mash or the fingerling potato.
what I wanna do, you know what I wanna do. So scared, death, break, whoa. It's always another day. Okay, well, we're gonna go get our rental car tonight, but we're just gonna go in the morning, but was it a 1010? I think it was a 1010. You have to think about it as a whole. The vibes, the restaurant we ate at, what was it called? Kai, Kai, Kayo, Kawa? Kayo. Kayo. Anyways, it was really good. I had a passion fruit something spritzer the food was really good i got wagyu and we got the mashed potatoes the coconut rice and the cream corn and then aaron got a crab leg he said his crab leg was my steak literally melted in my mouth and it was so good so i'm so happy y'all know i'm picky about food and i was nervous coming out here if i was gonna like the food or not i do want to try some like authentic places out here but so far so good i'm impressed okay it was good the view is like something that feels like out of a movie like, i just don't feel like this is my real life right now i just don't really feel like I'm actually here. I just feel like my body is here. I don't know how to explain it. But we're going to get the rental in the morning. So I'm about to go get in the pool because period. I'm going to go see if the pool's still warm because they said they can warm it up for us. If it's not warm enough, but it looks really pretty, it's blue. And then I see y'all tonight. I'll tell y'all what we're doing in the morning or I'll just see y'all in the morning. I mean, oh, I guess I need to change into a swimsuit. Let's change. Oh, no, reverse. It was really good. It was really good. It was really good. Okay. And we got, look, I'm gonna get in the pool. I'm gonna take a bath. I'm gonna take a shower. Oh, I'm using everything every day. No sleep. Nether bus. Nether club. Okay. There's a little light on here. That didn't really do much. Do y'all hear that though? That's the only thing I can't do. What is them creatures? Me and Aaron was like, do you think that's a real noise or do you think they just got a noise machine playing or something? I can't tell. <sighs> but yeah, okay, I'm about to change into a swimsuit and then we're gonna get in the water. take a shower because we need to eat breakfast before we leave you guys are never gonna guess what we're doing because i okay come here a little closer i would have never guessed what we're doing today today we're going on a helicopter ride okay the property that we're staying at has a helicopter we're taking the helicopter to another island 
to go snorkeling jet skiing we can do everything over on the other island basically but we have a private tour guide for the whole day yeah like i thought i was gonna come to this resort and then we were just gonna like book regular excursions she's like no 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 no. we do private excursions I said, oh. excuse me excuse me so anyways <laughs> we're getting ready oh i'm getting ready to go get breakfast i'm gonna let aaron sleep just let him rest because he obviously doesn't need to be up as early as me because he's not a girl. He can sleep in. He doesn't. He just needs to like literally wake up, throw his clothes on, and go. He took a shower last night. I got out of the bath and then just went in the bed. So I'm taking a shower this morning. <sighs> I really wanted to take the shower outside too, in the outdoor shower, but I didn't want it to be too hot because I didn't want it to, to like defeat the purpose of me taking a shower because I was outside. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this morning we're just gonna get ready. Do a little skincare. No makeup today because, you know, well, not right now anyways. I think we probably will get back later in the afternoon today because that's the only excursion that we have planned today. I'm debating if I should tell y'all the other excursions. I know some of y'all are just going to skip through, but isn't it nice when you have a little surprise? Everything we're doing every day is so fun, y'all. So fun. Do I think this day is going to be, like... Oh, I can't even say this is going to be the funnest day because I just feel like every single thing we're going to do is going to be so we're going to be fun. The only thing I'm disappointed about is the bioluminescent bay because she basically just said it's not worth it because of all the algae and stuff that I think I was telling y'all yesterday. So I thought that would be like a cool experience, but that's all right. Um, we've already decided that we're going to retire in Puerto Rico, so we'll be back, you know, <laughs> but I would love to come back and bring the kids. I don't know there there's a lot of kids staying at this property so it's definitely family friendly property i don't know if i'll bring my kids here all the kids here are so well behaved okay that's this there there used to be in environments like this there. it's nice you know what i'm saying there were kids sitting at the table last night eating dinner no ipads calm just calm just chill i said oh what's in the water a little melatonin a little bit because i know it was a little boy too and a little girl. Okay, let me rinse my face really fast. Okay, I'm trying to hurry up and do my skincare so I can do my hair care. Or look, put products in it before it dries because I washed it last night since I got it all wet in the pool. I mean, I washed it this morning since I got it all wet in the pool and stuff. I need to like put a poll up on my channel. Do we love the tapping? Do we hate the tapping? Because I feel like I became victim to the tapping because of TikTok. <laughs> you know, when the girls are getting ready, there's always a little ASMR, a little, a little tap here, a little tap there. You know what I'm saying? I got a new one. See if I stop talking shit. My lashes did not last. I'm not sad, but I'm a little disappointed. I don't know what, I feel like I was doing good. Like, I feel like I was doing good. I wasn't picking. I didn't get them wet for 24 hours. I could never win. I definitely need to remember to pack my sunscreen so I can reapply it after we go scuba diving. Are we going, we're not going scuba diving, we're going snorkeling. I just tried to make it a little bit too fancy. I'm really curious to see how bad the water is going to be, like as far as cold. I don't think it's going to be that bad because I'm assuming we're going to be on the Caribbean side of the island, which the water when we went to the Dominican Republic was warm. So I don't know, but it was May. It was May, I think, May or March. I don't remember. So, or the end of April. I think it was the end of April, actually. When we got back. Like right before Melo's birthday. A little SPF for the girls. I can't believe my forehead decided like, yeah, you're gonna get a pimple right before you go. Girl. It's the disrespect for me. I feel like whenever I go on vacation though, my skin is always really clear. I don't know. I just feel like it's something about the water other places that's better than the water at home. I think Dallas has really bad city water, honestly. Okay. 
I was gonna put a little vitamin C on, but I'm not. I'm just keep it light with the sunscreen, a lip gloss, summer Fridays. This is my favorite one. If you're gonna get any of them, get this one. I mean, I haven't smelled the new one, the birthday cake one, and I haven't tried the lip oils, but the one, this mint one, is minty. It's minty. Okay. Skin is done. Let's do hair. I think I forgot to bring a brush, which sucks. Yeah, I forgot to bring a brush. If not, I need to brush my curls. Also, I heard a little hack, but I'm not going to do it today. But they say if you fill up a water bottle, you put some conditioner in there, and then you put mousse in there, you can revive your boho curls. Me personally, today, I'm just going to put the cream straight on the curls, and then I'm going to put a lot of mousse. It's going to inevitably come out, but at least until I arrive at said destination, I want to give like a wet look on the hair. I'm interested to see how this hair will hold up after vacation. So far, so good. I mean, we're only one day in, but I feel like, I think it's going to be fine. Okay, mousse next. My hands are slippery. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna braid my hair up. Let me go under the water. I don't know. I don't know how to snorkel. Or ski, ski, ski. Whatever. I was gonna say skinny dip. What is the word? What are we doing? Is yeah, snorkeling. I said it right. What I said last time, scuba diving. I think scuba diving is different because that's deeper. Snorkeling is just like I kind of looking beneath the surface. I'm lucky scared. I'm really scared. All of this stuff is out of my comfort zone land animals okay fine but fish and stuff that's going fast and it's gonna t maybe touch me oh i'm really scared <laughs> but i don't want to miss out on experiences so i'm gonna suck it up i'm also okay i'm gonna tell y'all one thing we're doing puerto rico has the world's second largest zip line and we're doing that and i'm actually terrified because i don't even like roller coasters but again the experience are you gonna pass up that experience when you're in a place where you can do these kinds of things, no, nah. no. Nah. Lay the baby hairs. We're gonna be done. I don't really need this, but it smells so. I wanna be this. This smells so good. Like if I didn't have to smell like anything, just like a skin smell, like somebody should just smell my skin every day. I would want it to smell like this. It's just so clean and comforting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I definitely need to take a ponytail holder. I feel like just in case. What else was I about to do? Edges. This will be the test. If I still have edges when we get back and y'all still ain't bought this, then I don't know what to tell you. Okay. But it really is like, it's low-key waterproof. I'm hoping that it's only like 7.45, but I have a feeling it's closer to... I was in the shower for a while. But I need to get Aaron up so we can go eat a lot of breakfast. And then they were like, what kind of snacks do you want on the helicopter? I said, excuse me. Oh my god, y'all. It's a 30 minute helicopter, 30, 35. She said 30, 35 minute. So the fact that they have a helicopter here like when i have to leave to go anywhere this is a dream vacation a dream okay a dream you know what i'm saying we be seeing the girls on tiktok instagram go on the vacations i'm living in a i'm living in one of those right now it doesn't feel real. I feel out of that, out of my body. I feel like for my body sunscreen, I'm gonna take this with me. It's so cute. It kind of reminds me of the super glue, but it's Kapari and it's 
got sparkles in it. I'm not gonna use it on my face. I'm gonna take my face sunscreen. I'm gonna pack my bag with y'all before we leave because I'm about to get dressed. It's the same kind of concept if you've ever seen me use the super glue one before. That's, oh, is there plastic on top of it? Yeah. I was like, uh, something's wrong with the consistency. But it's sparkling. Hmm. Can y'all, y'all see the sparkle? Y'all see the sparkle? And the lighting here is not even good, so just imagine in the sun. Okay. I'm gonna just probably use it to like touch up my shoulders and stuff. Cause one thing about me, I'm not gonna burn, burn, but I'm gonna get red. Okay, I'm gonna get red. And then it's gonna turn into a tan. You know what's so funny too? Let's test, test these out really fast. Everybody kept commenting last night. They were like, oh, on my Instagram pictures. You look so tan, I'm loving the tan. I'm always a brown skin girl. Y'all just see my face a lot and my face is pale. My body is is brown. Hello. You know brown. Okay. <laughs> Cause I haven't even got tan yet. Cause I ain't even been in the sun. Because we just got here. You know what I'm saying? But everybody was like, oh my god, you're so tan. I'm just brown. <laughs> uh, this one is a 50 SPF. This one is a 45 SPF. This is rose gold and this is body glow. Oh, that's one way to rip off the plastic. That one's sun shield and it's golden. This one is golden amber and it's only 30 SPF. But I just feel like this one is gonna be the nicest because it's the darkest. Somebody's away. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. The consistency of this is so nice too. It just feels like a body oil. Y'all, and then me and Aaron were in the pool last night and I was like, when we go home in a month, we're gonna be able to do this at home in the backyard. We're gonna be able to swim in the backyard. Okay, I'm gonna be tan as you ever did see. Boom. It's, it's like a very nice texture. Like it doesn't feel like you're putting sunscreen on. It just feels like you're putting on your favorite body oil. It's got that, if you've ever smelled Kapari before, they have like this like very unique coconut scent. Baby, it smells delicious. It's got sparkles. I don't know if y'all can see the sparkles. The sun's not like all the way, all the way up yet, but I mean, it's it's glowy. It's, it's getting glowy. Should we mix it? I feel like we should mix it with this one. So pretty. I'm gonna be SPF protected, I'll tell you. This concept too right here. Yeah, they've got a customer for life. Okay, I'm gonna oil up the rest of my body. I think I'm gonna save this. This has hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in it also. Slay. Okay, I'm gonna have Aaron put it on my back and stuff, but I'm about to get dressed and check the time because I don't have any idea what time it is and we kind of do need to stay on somewhat of a schedule. Oh my gosh, it just feels so good. I might have overdid it a little bit, but you know, it's gonna dry up, I'm sure, here in a little bit. Let me get dressed and then I'll be right back. It's loud out here, but I wanted to show y'all what my outfit looks like in good lighting. It's just the Skims two-piece set, but we're about to go back inside. Scent of the day. This, all of these smell so good. Like you literally cannot go wrong with a single one of these. They all smell so good and they're perfect for vacation or just like a beach day. This one is a Sol de Janeiro bikini season. This one has Sunlit Orchard, Guava nectar, something else. Fire! It smells so good. Okay. These are the little shoes that I got for the trip. They're hiking shoes, which she just texted me and told me what we should wear, which is comfortable swimwear, which I was already like, you know, got that. Okay. 
We already were gonna wear our hiking shoes. And then she said, just bring a change of dry clothes. Um, I guess for the helicopter ride back, I'm assuming. So I don't know. I think I'm just gonna take the beach bag that they provide. They give you like a bag as a souvenir that you can take. <laughs> So I think I'm just gonna pack our dry clothes in that. I don't know what I'm gonna pack for our dry clothes though. She said just something that's like a comfortable, quick change. These are the most comfortable things I've ever owned and I'm so excited about them because they're perfect for the backyard with the kids. I mean, cause how often am I gonna be on vacation? I mean, speaking to existence, I could go on vacation every week. In the summertime, I really do wanna do that. The kids are not gonna be in school. Oh, we're just rent out the house, go explore, okay? Here is, okay. this is the fanny pack I'm taking. I can't tell if I need to adjust it or not. Make it a little bit longer, but cute, is it cute? Do I need to make it longer? I can't tell. And I think I'm gonna switch the clip to this one. You can also wear it around your waist as well. Okay, that's a little bit more comfortable. I just switched the clips. Okay. Okay, in here, I'm just gonna put my sunscreen, my lip gloss, and then my eye walks, chargers, cameras. I'm also taking my drone, but that's in Aaron's backpack. The DJI does have a little mic, so I'm gonna take it just in case for the helicopter ride and stuff. Small front pocket. You can break this down a little bit. Put this on a zipper pouch. I'm only gonna take my, no, see, I don't know. Okay, because one of my phones has service and one of them doesn't because I have two phones. One that I bought that I said that I was gonna use for content and then I never made short form content, so I just have it as another phone, but I do like to take pictures on there because I don't use it as my personal phone, so it's not filled with a whole bunch of random pictures of stuff. But I wanna get content on my phone too because I'm taking my underwater camera. They said that there was gonna be underwater photography at the snorkeling thing, so I don't know if I'm gonna need my camera or not, but we'll just, I'm gonna take one of my phones and then Aaron's phone obviously has service on it, so yeah. Because I don't, I guess I can take both of them. Both of them will fit in here. I just don't want to be carrying super heavy, if that makes sense. I got two phones. Well, the, the, I'm just kidding, okay. Oh, yeah. Phones in there. Chargers in there. We should be good to go. So, I'll wait till Aaron comes out and then we can give you a together OOTD. Hair looks, it's looking all right. It smells phenomenal. Phenomenal. I'm gonna go bother him in the bathroom and then eat, we're gonna go eat breakfast. And then we'll be off. Bang. Me molesta, nada no me choca. Me gusta todavía cuando me toca. Pero se ve bien que te vuelve media loca. Que a mí mismo solo soy fiel. Hoy me levante con Hangover. Otra noche, otro hotel. Te recogí en el trabajo. Portándome sober. Pero sé bien que you can tell A ti te encanta lo gante Pero eres elegante con la combi channel Envolviendo tu piel Yo me puse el trolar Tu tomate el timón Guiando por el valle de San Gabriel Así que haces que el dolor te provoca Sé bien que te vuelve loca Que a mí mismo solo soy fiel Hoy me levanté No me molesta, nada no me choca me gusta todavía cuando me toca Pero sé bien que te vuelve media loca Que a mí mismo solo soy fiel
Popping up, throw up the sex in the Any, we'll just let you tell us. All right. Okay, we landed. I have some big chairs for you. Okay. Also, snorkel here in the back. Two and a half miles from east to west, and only four miles from north to south. Okay. I'm Nate. I'm born and raised here. Cool. You okay? <laughs> cool. Yeah, I have some, I have some towels over here if you want to. We have a few. Okay. Thank yes, you. Thank you. You got to Puerto Rico yesterday? Yes. yes. Long traveling? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like a four hour flight. Not too bad. From which state? Texas. Texas. In general, the island is pretty quiet. A lot in here is about conservation and natural, uh, type of natural uh, activities. Mm -hmm. Feeling vibes on vibes. I'm a ticket down Oh no. <laughs> I should really drive the whole way. I just don't want to ride with you because I know you're going to be driving oh, I got you. recklessly. And if I fall off, I'm going to be so sad. We landed. We're on the island. We're driving around to see what we want to do. There's horseback riding, jet skis, snorkeling, um, ATVs, boat rides. They have um, crab out after the bio bay because the I bio really want to do that. Has to be done late at, I mean, at not night. Late, not late at night. <laughs> but when it's dark. When it's dark. Yeah. Stopping. I'm trying to like vlog and then listen at the same time. Getting some. What does she call them? It kind of Those look like biscuits, but maybe they're stuffed with something. We stopped by a little local place. She said this is their version of fast food because they don't have fast food here. They got a subway. One subway that they opened in 2017. Just said they don't eat it. Because they're not. They didn't grow up on fast food, so they don't eat fast food. Okay. Okay. Easy. Mm -hmm. White one is plain coconut. Okay. Green, it has guava and cream cheese inside there. 
They look like little biscuits. Yeah, they're like biscuits. Mm hmm. I made it. Okay. He really just like that, but I keep telling him that's not a St. Louis thing anymore. That's a girl thing. I uh, homework on it. Ski, Ski is from St. Louis. It is and originally made in St. Louis, and it's for dudes who holler in their guts. She just made it popping in the world. So, so now, now it's for girls. That is what it is. Now it's for girls. He's like, Ski, hey, damn, I see you over there. Ski, come here. Hey, I see you. Here's our... Uh, our jet ski uh, tour guide. I gotta switch over to the waterproof camera, so just <laughs> BRB. This one you later you collect it in your mouth and you breathe for your mouth, okay. not for the face, yeah. no on the. Uh -huh. okay. Let me. Uh -huh. I don't want some tie too much because this is good mass, you know, and this is good face for you. Okay, yeah, try. Uh, see, okay. and put the snuggling you practice okay. and no hair you hair and you wait. If you need another one, let me know. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 
no se le toque. Ok, mira, vas a tener tus manos aquí, amiga. Coloca tus manos aquí. Que yo tengo que ahí en las dos, amiga. Y entonces cuando te vas a tirar, te vas a tirar hacia el frente. Mira hacia el frente. Mira hacia That's the crap. That's the crap. They call it here uh, good power, you know. They call it here carucho. They call it here carucho. They call it here carucho. This is a meat small big. Mm. Big size. They use a hammer. Big hammer. They, they break them. They loose them up inside and they take the 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 the, the, beast, the meat from here. under there so I just gave up it's falling over. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. No. Is it sharp? No, no. This is option a little bit you put on your hands you water delicado suave suave later Más suave. Oh, I feel it. Ah, you feel it. Yeah. So, cuando you're ready, pero suave, you're nervous. Mira, oh, relax. Ajá, uh -huh, oh, you yeah, relax. It's cool. If you relax more, okay, that's see, good. I understand, I understand you. I understand, and you feel it a little bit dropped. It's mm -hmm. heavy. This one, it is so blanco. You know, my nothing, you know. Un muy it's bueno. cool. It's feel good. Yeah, you know? it's cute. It's good, you know. Very cool. Cute. You know, on, the, on, the, on the rocks, you find more creatures, you know? Mm -hmm. On the rocks. You know? You want to hold it? It suctions to the bottom of your hand. It's so cool. Just try it. Just try it. Hold on. But you have to relax. 
No, it's not gonna bite you, but it's not gonna suction to you if you don't relax. Put your hand in the water, it's gonna... And then just let it rest on your palm. You feel it? You're not relaxed. You feel it squishing you? It's not squishing you? Don't drop it. No, I'm dropping my seal. Okay, okay. Give it back. Oh, he likes me now. That's me. Oh, that's me. It's moving. This thing is moving. That's crazy. Crazy. Look at me being adventurous. Because it's coming straight out of the ocean. 
Let me just sit back down over here because I was gonna go outside and talk to y'all because we're about to jump in the pool and pull off of it from being a, can you, I'm red. I'm hoping it doesn't burn because I don't feel burnt. I think I am just am red, so I'm hot natured. So you girl is red. Anyways, 1010 10 would recommend. That was so fun. What was the island where Ves, Vesquez? What was the name of the island? Um, the it was like Vesuvius. It was like something like Vegas. But like the, the, the Vesuvius? It wasn't Vesuvius. <laughs> that, that, I don't know. It's like the V. I'll put it on the screen when I figure out what the name of it was. But you don't have to take a helicopter or a plane to get over to the island. They have a ferry. But we didn't know there was a ferry. So we could take the ferry. But uh, the helicopter was fun nonetheless. The views were amazing and so beautiful. It was uh, like a really, really, really cool experience. Just to be able to see the island from that view because I feel like that made it even more beautiful. Puerto Rico is so pretty. I never knew Puerto Rico was this pretty. I don't know, even when I see people do vlogs and like TikToks I was looking at, when I was seeing like what we were gonna do, it didn't look as pretty as it actually is. Like it's so pretty. So we flew over to the other island and then once we got there, we had a private tour guide and her name was Angie. She was so sweet, she was amazing. She basically drove us around the island, gave us a little history of the place and we got some food and then we went to the jet skis, the tour guides at the jet skis amazing super nice we had uh pedro and one other guy but and we were just with one other couple when we went and it was really nice so pretty the water is amazing it's clear when we were snorkeling we didn't see a lot of life but that's because he said this first time you snorkel you shouldn't go all the way far out but he's like if you guys come back ever you know or you have now you can say you have snorkeling experience to go out a little bit further to see a lot more of the marine life so we saw like a couple fish a couple crabs or they call them something else, but I don't, I can't speak Spanish in my life, so. Then, yeah, from there, we went to horseback riding on the Black Sand Beach. That was also really nice. Everybody was so friendly, like all of the hosts and the guides and all of that were just so, I mean, everything about this trip has just been like so, so great, so amazing. Everybody's so nice. The experience has been really good. We ate at this place. I took a picture of it. Um, if anybody ever comes to Puerto Rico and then they're gonna come uh, go over to the other island, I think it's called, uh, dang, let me see. I took a picture before we were leaving, but I don't remember which phone I took the picture on. Um, Duffy's, it's called Duffy's, it was really good. Had to get some rice and beans. I love the Puerto Rican style rice and beans. It's so, so good. Then Aaron got the lobster and then I had some chicken nachos and it was pretty good. We had a little Corona, it was cool. 
but overall 1010 would recommend i'm gonna try to leave the places that i went or the locations that i went and who was our guide what the name of the excursion places were called that we used in case anybody wants to know because i feel like that's always helpful when i was looking at book because there's so many websites that you can book on it makes it a little bit confusing but yeah this was so much fun now we're just getting ready to rinse off in the pool pull down a little bit and then go take a shower and then kind of take a small nap i guess and then we're gonna go try to get a jeep or some type of rental car and go eat dinner out in old san juan so yeah that's pretty much the plan for that so i mean well for the rest of the day anyways i'm tired i'm getting tired i'm red it was a heck of a day so much fun and then tomorrow i'm probably gonna tell y'all again what we're doing tomorrow when i wake up tomorrow but tomorrow is um hiking in el Inque, which is the rainforest and then a tour of old san juan during the daytime which if we go to old san juan today we might we might still go back because we can do kayaking and stuff over there i'm sure they have like other little things or like just check out the nightlife maybe either tonight or tomorrow but yeah and then thursday we're going zip lining and then we're also going to try to go back to the island we were just on to do the bioluminescent tour because apparently in san juan like the main island of puerto rico they're bay is like polluted by algae in the bad weather but not over the other island so we're gonna take the ferry over there because planes won't fly at night back from that island over here and you have to do it at like dark time so you can see it obviously so yeah We just got out the pool and so we're about to hop in the shower now. We're gonna just go ahead and go. We were gonna take a nap, but we're not. I'm gonna wash my hair real good and then we're gonna actually get ready for dinner. So when I get out the shower, then we come back, get ready with y'all. And I guess we're just gonna get dressed up, and go explore a little bit of the nighttime scene and just get a feel for old San Juan. I know there's a couple places that have like nightlife activity. I should have just did no lashes for the trip, honestly, because now they just look crazy. And they're all falling out. Lovely, lovely. All right. y'all if you watched the last vlog when i tried this on i'm not talking because of the whatever this is in the background i don't know what animal this is this part is a corset so when aaron zipped it up it like made my stomach look so big so i don't want to wear it anymore when i lose a little bit of weight i think it'll be cute but for now no so i'm about to change into another dress but this was originally what i was gonna wear and then so yeah i don't know what i'm wearing <laughs> I 
think I'm just going with my other orange dress. So, outfit change one more time. Boom. All right, back to getting ready, kind of. Only thing I got left I gotta do is this, and then I don't know what fragrance I wanna wear. I'm leaning towards La Toupee, but then also I was like, it's orange, it's giving Where the Bitter Peach. I don't think I'm gonna be able to wear any of my beach outfits while we're here. This stuff is excellent. Look at that. Look at that. I'm trying not to get it on actual dress. I'm just gonna do the top of my shoulders and then blend it down. So I'm gonna put on some of this. You can see body cream. I put the necessary serum all over when I got out the shower because my skin is definitely toasty. Yeah, nice. It's getting glowy. Can y'all see the glow? I just don't know. Whatever this is. If it's not a monkey, it needs to go way screamy. Ugh, okay, let me spray this and then see what I want to wear. It smells good too, I just... La Toupee is like one of my go-tos, but it's more of like a daytime. I'm gonna mix them together. Ugh. They're both fruity. Let's give them fruity. Try them. We look like sun kissed. You know what I'm saying? Body glow, glow. Body is glow, 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 glowing. Hair? Shoes. What shoes do we wear with this? Hmm. These? With this? And do like a little pop of color? Or do neutrals? To be determined. I don't want to put anything on my like arm like this. I'm gonna ask you ready. Then I'll come back and see you guys right before we get ready to leave, but I'm ready. It's like a downtown-ish area vibe. It's people walking around. It's lots of food spots. It kind of looks like if you're from Dallas, like it's like Deep Ellum kind of area, but not like downtown. Cause I think their downtown is Old San Juan, but I could be lying. I really don't know. Um, but we're somewhere. We got this rental from Jeep Adventure Jeep Grand. I'm gonna try to link everything for y'all in case you come to Puerto Rico. Okay. The rental was pretty unexpected, in my opinion, three days for 3.30. I feel like that's good. I don't know what, in Dallas, it'd be like 3.30 a day to rent a car. So, um, yeah, I feel like the price was cool. And then we're at the liquor store right now. Of course, Aaron always got to have a bottle, even though I'm, I don't drink anymore. I only drink like Prosecco and then maybe like a mixed cocktail, but I really haven't even been finishing them. Um, any out here walking on the street with your shirt all open, so I'm like, <laughs> but anyways, we're going to look at store and we're trying to find something to eat, but I don't know what to eat. Um, actually, let me look at this. The place I'm looking at is called Ocean Lab Brewery. Oh. It's a, it's a brewery, so it just drinks. Somebody said the food was good. I don't know. Okay, well, I guess we're going to eat at this place that's right in front of us. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys where we're going to eat. It's like a gyro place, so they've got loaded fries, pizza, like mac and cheese. Pete, you just want to go order for me? Or you want me to go out there? 
Okay. Okay, come on, let's go. Just to make it through the night. Okay, come on, let's go. Just to get back home. That I had days full of you. Good morning. Day three, starting the vlog in the tub because my body is so sore from horseback riding and hanging on for dear life on the jet skis. I need to get an ibuprofen, but we woke up late, so I'm taking a bath and then we are going to eat breakfast in the room. You have clothes on? Do you have clothes? Anyways, yeah, we're Getting breakfast in here, the same thing we had yesterday, which was really good, by the way, if I didn't tell y'all. We got like potatoes. The eggs were all right, but the turkey bacon and the potatoes, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. And then we're leaving, so. Headed to, I can't pronounce it now. I thought I had it down yesterday, because now I feel like I can speak Spanish, but it's the rainforest that's here. We're going on a hike there. And then I think we're taking a change of clothes with us, and we're also going to San Juan to like do a food tour. An old Sam Holman, so. The Lord, thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for having us here on this beautiful island, this beautiful woman on this beautiful day, February 14th, this day of love. Uh, allow this day be to be full of love and great energy and great spirits. Mm. Mm. Happy Valentine's Day. We're getting ready to leave. We're gonna try this SPF today. This one, actually, I don't know if this is the same one we used yesterday or not, but we're just gonna put this back on for time's sake because we have to leave in 10 minutes. And then we're doing Win in Rio. This one is wild bergamot, vanilla amber, and bergamot sauvage. The waves aren't on a side today. I'm trying to remember what this one smells like. It's just fruity and vanilla. I don't know. They all smell delicious. You asked me. O O T. <coughs> Scams. I really should have wore this yesterday, but I just didn't know we were gonna jet ski yesterday. That was kind of like a surprise thing when we got over there i thought it was going to be more on a boat vibe and walking around and stuff so yeah i wore what i wore yesterday yesterday what i should wear that today and i should wear this yesterday but we're here now so i have the little sports bra top underneath too so hopefully i want to can you hold this please thank you nope okay speed in the right on my arm can we manifest a Kapari brand trip? Because please bring me back to the beach and please let me have some more of this for free. Thank you. Boom. 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 <sighs> Should I do some on my belly? I don't want to get this on my. I pulled these up like way, way high. Because the fupa is fupa. I'm ready. What am I? No, I'm not the mind. I need to pack my bag. I was going to say I'm ready when you're ready, but I need to pack my bag. Can I pack my bag real quick? Boy, get on. The... No, you're not. Come, come out here and let's see. No, you come here and let's see. You always, you talking all that shit. Come here, let's see. You're looking in a dark room, in a dark mirror. You're like that uh, Hershey album that you like. No, you don't. <laughs> you wishing it, and I'm darker than you. Come here. Yeah, knock it out. You're just not 
different thing. undertones. But no, I'm look, close to look the at same you. Colors. Look at me. Don't look at my my face is always pale, but my arms. Look at my arms. I, I'm way darker than you. You're not way. It's not way. Is it giving way? It's not giving way. It's just giving way. No, it ain't. It's giving different shade. Yeah, it's giving. You have a yellow undertone, and I have a red undertone. So we no, look it's giving color. like your belly looks dark. white. Hell no. Nah. Yes, it do. It's giving dark. <clears throat> it's giving both delusional because everybody's gonna say you're still a light skin, so. Yeah. <laughs> Brown skin. I look like a cup of cream coffee. Light cream. <laughs> delusional, delusional. Okay. This little fanny pack came in handy. My hair looks good today. I just can't figure out which way I want to part it. But it revived itself, I'll tell you that much. From It was in mats, like huge knots yesterday after we jet skied and I wore my hair down, which I don't know why. Or snorkeling, snorkeling is what did it. But I don't know why I did that. Ooh. Okay guys. See you in the rainforest. Green in the center, that's called the center of mountain chain. And because of this mountain chain, the humidity that comes from the Atlantic with the trail winds gets trapped in the north part of the island, so it rains a lot in the north, whereas the south is more dry. We have cactus in the south, it's more hot but less humid. Pretty. Excuse me. I'm not really excited. I know, I need to pay attention. It is slippery. Guys, just so you know, you're going to see me doing this. Whenever I see like a, this part of the palm tree, this is like an envelope. And this, when you open it, sometimes you find the coquitra. So I'm gonna be stopping a lot to try to find you one so you can see it. Okay. The more humid and, and rotten it is, the more chances to find you. You see? But oh, they are really okay, flat. Okay. Oh, yeah, you no, want to be no, 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 you go ahead. No, please. <laughs> so, she probably live in the back. <laughs> Whatever. She has a step behind her so she don't fall. Yeah, it's slippery. Yes. Yes. Enjoy. Thank you. Soil here, you're going to notice that it has a glitter. It's not good. So the soil has like a glitter, it's called uh, pyrite. Do you see a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is fool's gold, pyrite. Yeah. It's a specific mineral. It's trying to intimidate another male around. Yeah, there's one right here. Yeah, they are in fighting mode. There's, an, uh, there's a female there. That's the female? Yeah. Oh, okay. So then it's not fighting mode, it's trying to attack. Uh -oh. Attract I can't even tell if I can see it on there or not. And how can you tell the difference? By the, 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 the body of the male has like a little crest here and they do this uh, thing of the, of the throat. The yeah, I saw that. It was puffed out yeah, at first, yeah. <laughs> so crazy that this is just, you know, real. Like it's just... Yeah, it's not in photos. <laughs> not man-made. Caracolus is the biggest land snail in the Caribbean. Oh, cute. Snails are very important because uh, they serve as a protein source for other animals. And also, they, if you need to survive in the rainforest, you can eat them. Um, interesting thing about them, they're hermaphrodites. They can change sex to be able to mate because uh, they move very slow. Wow. 
So they can cross fertilize. I didn't get it. Where's your hand? I can't okay. see your hand. <gasps> you see? You no, it's mm -hmm. just like the it's a defense mechanism. The so lens. it's exposing the thorns for the herbivores not to oh, eat. Okay, go. You see? Yeah. This one is a big one. This is a I'm big sorry. One. Right here. Right here. Yeah. You see? Stop it. You ready? Yeah, go. <laughs> you sure? Yes, go. That one didn't get it. hard work. Yes. That's cool. Thank you for your help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. It's, it's, a, it's a nice walk. We listen. <laughs> Can you do a ponytail is the question of the day. A little messy bun? Little messy yeah, I was trying to do that. Mm -hmm. No, it's fine. Leave it. No, no, no. Leave it alone. It's fine. It is really pretty. Thank you. Yeah. That, how do you choose? It's, if you want to go shade it in a trail or the road? See, look. I keep smushing them all over myself. Yeah, it was. It's better. It you can see probably a, a good. My money. It was made the zipline go all the way down. That would be the car. True. You don't go so we can always do it. I mean, we'll yeah, we'll there. zip line it tomorrow. Oh, we'll nice. You're going to Paro Verde? To the one that it has the longest? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the second longest in the world. Do you mostly just do the hiking in the, in, in the rainforest or do you do other stuff? Like we other also tours? Old San Juan. Okay. And I have a tour to the, the one. Uh, to two waterfalls and one. Uh, because this is the name of the good weather god. The bad weather god during the times it was Hura, Huracan, Hurricane. Mm -hmm. All this coastline here yeah. is a very important turtle nesting site. Oh. So all the light turquoise, this is shallow. I mean, not super shallow, but then when it gets darker, it's like a sudden drop in the deep. In in the, the deep can't even really see the dark blue. Yeah. Today there's a little bit of haziness. I'm not, I'm not sure what's the reason. Some, sometimes in the year we get the Sahara Desert dust that travels with the uh, freight winds from the, from the Sahara Desert. We're back! <sighs> I'm gonna be so sore by the time we get back home. Oh, let me put y'all over here because the lighting is better. We're not going to Old San Juan, apparently, um, today. Probably gonna have to go tomorrow, but I guess Aaron made plans for Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. So we are getting ready for dinner a little bit early because we have to drive 45 minutes to San Juan for our dinner. So I think I'm gonna wear my red dress, but I don't know. I'm leaning towards either wearing that white dress with the little corset and the like beachy skirt because I feel like that's just gonna be a little bit more comfortable since we do have to travel in the car for like 45 minutes. The red dress is more getting like 10 minute drive, not 45 minute drive. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna be all comfortable. We don't really have that much time, so I'm gonna take a shower and try to smell better. I want to, I don't know what I want to do for my hair, honestly. This part right here is starting to look so bad at the front. Yikes. Definitely gonna have to get my hair redone when we get back to Dallas. Oh, shower and then my hair was looking good this morning, but now it's kind of gotten a little. But I don't want to like rewash it all the way again. So I'm probably just going to spray it with the spray bottle and try to refresh the curls. Curls for the girls. But we got to hurry because I'm going to attempt to do my makeup. Just something light like we did the first day. I do have regrets about the rainforest though, honestly. I would have preferred to just do 
the river scenic route but we didn't have that much time because i guess he thought we were going to be there till like 3 30 i don't know but we had to tell him like oh we have reservations so we are going to need to be back a little bit earlier so we ended up hiking up to not the very top of one of the peaks but one of the peaks and it was a nice view but hiking kicked my butt like y'all know i'm just not that I would do it again though i would hike again however i would have loved to see a little bit more of the water and do the natural water slide and stuff so yeah we didn't get a chance to do that because it's a long drive there and then it's an hour and a half back so it was quite a drive from where we're staying from san juan it's not as far but so, what else was i gonna say Hopefully we'll get to go to Old San Juan tomorrow. I don't know. The other place that we're going to do the zip line is also a far drive. And then Aaron doesn't want to do the Bayo Bay because he doesn't want to go all the way back to Best Vegas. Best, Best Vegas. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not, but he doesn't want to go all the way back there because we have to take a 45 minute ferry, then drive to the Bayo Bay, then do the thing, and then drive back to the ferry for another 45 minute ride. But I feel like that would be such a missed opportunity if we don't get to go. I either want to do that or see Old San Juan. Like, we have to do one of the two tomorrow because we're leaving on Friday morning. And I think Friday we're just going to chill on the resort until it's time for us to, like, check. Like, our checkout time is, like, the time we need to drive back to the airport. I wish we could stay one more day until, like, Saturday. But we have things to do because we can't stay. But we are, like, the... I'm the queen of extending the stay at the last one. <laughs> okay, shower. I put the makeup, I did a little makeup, makeup, make the same thing that I did the first time we were here, but I just didn't use any of the skin tint because I'm a little bit tanner and it's just not matching. But we're gonna try to revive the curls with that hack. I really do not want to do that. I did not want to do that. That just hurt my soul. It says moose. Leave it. Ooh, ooh. It's giving science experiment. Okay, we don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. Give it a shake. I wonder if it's even gonna come out because this is like one of those mister bottles. It might be a little too thick. Okay, I'm decided I'm gonna wear the white corset thing. Oop, instead of the um, red dress. Cause I just feel like it's gonna be more comfortable. And then I think we're gonna still go to dinner tomorrow night. So if we eat here, even if we eat, well, yeah, probably here. I just don't wanna drive uncomfortably. You know what I'm saying? I can't see myself also, and I didn't get ready with y'all cause and we're in here taking a shower. We have about 10-ish minutes. I need to iron the skirt, but I don't know it. All right, outfit change, fragrance, a little bronzer on the chest. And then I think for my accessories, I'm gonna do this necklace and the little Bottega dupe earrings. So my hair just took me about forever, so. Okay. Dressed. I like this, I feel like this is just gonna be more comfortable. In the car. I might have to just put my jewelry on in the car too, because we need to go. Okay. Earrings. Fragrance. It's still daytime. It's like an early dinner, so I think I'm just gonna do a lot to play. Take it in the car too. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. I wish I had some time to put on little clusters or something, but I don't. So this is it. This is the vibe. I'm gonna wear my Jacquemus, Jacquemus, Jacquemus bag, and then my little coat guy.
How could I go back just for a temporary satisfaction? You've always been real to me Watch every movie, it's so sweet Best place come to me I find out that's only gonna be Oh, 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 About Happy Valentine's Day, but he still didn't ask me to be here. <laughs> Love that for me. Love that for me. No, I wasn't expecting a boat. That's this was nice. Thank you. Dinner? Yeah, I like somewhere nice. Okay. I was wondering that. I was like three hours, no food. At night time? This reminds me of our date when we went on the gondola. The gondola ride? When was that? Was that Valentine's Day or my birthday? We got a boat. Remember that guy? He drove us, yeah, in the in and we were in like a little a little gondola. And we had like there was flowers and I was pregnant. Carson. Oh yeah, that was little though. Yeah, I mean it was little than this, but it was still I don't know what you're talking about. Are you going? Huh? They told us to sit down while we were boarding, so yeah. I don't know where he's going. Ooh, I'm glad I wore my white because I was gonna wear my red dress and I've been so uncomfortable. I thought we were just literally going to dinner, but look at us, we are on a white. It's so pretty. It's a pretty white. It's very aesthetic. Aesthetic boat. And there's flowers for the Valentine's Day. And then all the cruise ships are right here too. Look, Carnival, Norwegian, and something else. One thing about him, I will say, is he's going to do something romantic. This is so cute. I really thought we were going to go to dinner or something. Because, like, I mean, we're not from here. Like, we don't know what to do. But that was so cute. They got a slide on the carnival cruise. Oh no, that's right. I really do want to take a cruise sometime this year, probably in the summer with the kids. Oh, look how pretty. are very Spanish. We're all from the 400 years of Spanish, uh, you know, colonialism here. And um, they, uh, like, 
It's all San Juan. off all my eyelashes last night but anyways it was so fun i was definitely surprised the boat experience it was it was literally so beautiful so beautiful so beautiful so beautiful so beautiful so beautiful it was so pretty like puerto rico owes me absolutely nothing maybe i'll come back and get married in puerto rico okay i love it here i love it here we went on our boat ride obviously last night and Sorry, I gotta get ready at the same time because y'all know we're on a time crunch. I don't wanna take, I wanna wear it, but I can't because I'm gonna lose it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, look. And there's like the two little bangs. It's, so, it's two-toned, which I really wanted because y'all know I always wear gold. I'm so excited. Okay, anyways, not that I'm just gonna like slide. Y'all know I'm not good at expressing myself, so. Yeah, that happened, okay. <laughs> The boat ride was really nice. We got to basically go 
around old San Juan and where the old walls are and just see like a lot of the history um, of the city and then seeing it from the water super pretty and it was a sunset boat tour it was really really nice had a little charcuterie some champagne our captain her name was Krista she was amazing it was so much fun we came home or back to the room after that we were gonna go eat dinner in old San Juan but Aaron fell asleep on the boat on the way back <laughs> when it got dark so we just decided to just come on back and we got a little bit of dinner here from room service and then we just went to sleep so it's eight something now and we're about to get ready to leave to go zip lining puerto rico has the second longest zip line in the world and i think costa rica has the first longest anyways never zip lined before am i kind of nervous yeah so yeah zip lining today and then i think we're gonna try to go to back to el yunque because we didn't get to do the water slide and like the rope where you like swing and jump into the pool or river creek whatever it is but we wanted to do that so we're gonna probably drive back there afterwards and just stay in what we have on and go over there do a little bit of water because today is our last full day here we leave tomorrow but tomorrow we'll probably just like hang around the resort and go to the beach here on the resort until it's time to leave. Oh, I to do. Oh. Anyways, my skin glowing. Love this. I'm pretty sure I was made to live somewhere near the beach because the glow i have when i'm just by the water is just unreal get me out of texas now that i've been here i wouldn't even want to live in florida honestly i'm like just come to puerto rico except did you know if you live in puerto rico you cannot vote for the president of the united states so it's like Puerto Rico is just, I mean, I knew it was U.S. territory, but I just didn't understand the whole complex dynamic between the U.S. and Puerto Rico, but it's actually very interesting, and we got to learn a whole bunch of about that on the way to the rainforest, so that was cool. I don't know, it's like bittersweet. They're very divided whether they want to be a part of the United States or not. Okay, fragrance of the day. Do not disturb. All these just smell so good. This is mimosa flower, nude musk, something else. One thing I'm gonna do in the summertime is so de Janeiro it out, okay? I'm not gonna do anything to my hair. I really, I mean, I guess I should lay my baby hairs, but I really don't want to. I was gonna try to curl my eyelashes and, and not look as dead. Or I'm looking for my aquaphor. A little aquaphor on the lashes. What is that noise? The air conditioning is so loud this morning. I'm taking a break from lashes for like a week <laughs> when I get back home. Cause guess what we're doing when we get home? We're, well, it's not right when I get home, but at the end of the month, we're flying out to Houston for a freaking mommy and me photo shoot with carmelo it's just gonna be a day trip but i'm like i don't know how i want to do my hair i should have never picked out my lashes last night because now i don't have any I don't have any lashes on my face <clears throat> Skims on, skims on, skims. I'm really mad I wash my earrings. My little everyday earrings that I wear. That sucks. It's so pretty. Okay. Anyways. A little bit of sunshine in my life. 
a little bit. A little bit of SPF. So far, so good. I haven't got burnt. So. <clears throat> oh man. That's not going to come off. Because it's only all. Yikes. Oh well. I'll try to pat it out. Hopefully it'll come out in the wash. Are oil stains hard to get out? We're leaving. Packing the same stuff I've been packing in my bag all week. so pretty it was such a if you want a scenic drive just come here don't do the hike this was prettier than the hike i'm serious that hike i'm really mad about it <laughs> even though we're about to try to go back and do it again after this you have to hike to get to the water room. it's not like you just pull up and it's right there okay we're about to go check in for Zip lining. Yeah, because I feel like I'm gonna drop it if I don't have something else to hold on to. We made it. Oh, I already said that. What? The view? Beautiful. Somehow we got tricked into another physical activity. I thought we were just here for zip lines and good vibes, but this was an intense workout class. Lovely. Did you like zip line? It's very scenic. It wasn't as like exhilarating as I thought it was gonna be. Like I thought it was gonna be like my heart and my adrenaline was gonna be running rushing. They have other stuff to do here though. Like you can do I think it's not bungee jumping, but some version of bungee jumping and rock then climbing. rock climbing. They have a lot of different adventures to do. You can bike across the zip line. You can go head first, but we did the seven course zip line, apparently. 
and it is hot. Turn the camera on. 